Hey there guys, uh, Jason Night Relaxation is back with another video. I do apologize for taking it so long, it's just uh, my internet that uh, disconnected. So I'm back up and running, and I'm going to, I took this apart to save some time. It's a uh, Super Nintendo controller, and uh, I'm just going to show you the shell of it. So that's what it looks like out here. There's nothing inside, there's no tricks here. I'm going to do it right in front of your eyes. So I'm going to put it back together, and I'm going to turn it on, and we're going to go from there. Alright, so basically, this is the most important piece, obviously, because it has needs all the buttons. So, for anyone who doesn't know how to put one back together, well, it's quite easy. Uh, this is their directional pad, D pad, whatever you want to call it, you put that in. You grab this piece, which got a little crap on it. Put it on like that. Also, always make sure you put it on right because it goes on like that, and you have to have the black things on the top because it, it uh, helps uh, soften the cushion when you're pushing the button now on the circuit board. At least that's what I think it does. And the thing is with these buttons, these buttons are so, so cool. Oh, by the way, this just slides in. There we go. So basically these buttons are all individually cut because they're different color. So I'm just going to pop ahead a little bit and pop these little fuckers in. They're actually quite, quite easy to put in. You just line them up. It's like a puzzle. Very simple puzzle. Now, I'll just put this in like this. And there's basically the inside of the controller and I'll just push all this down and there's the outside see how that, that's all the oops I'm not sure about that that's all in there you've got these little things that look like breasts with hard nipples and you just line up the buttons it's actually quite easy you stick the directional pad back on there line it up with the hole and there's these little fucking irritating little fucking rods, which I prefer over plastic parts, which is what they do in other c controllers, such as third party controllers and stuff like that. There's these little metal rods, they're not too long, but they're a pain in the ass if you lose them. So if you're really uh, dorky and fucking drop shit and can't fucking find it probably would recommend not to take this not to take these things apart mind you the first time I took them apart just the one side fell out and I was like what the fuck so basically that's your trigger button see how that works so basically I am almost ready to play so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the circuit board which I will show you right here this is it So basically you just line it up to where it needs to go. It's actually a lot simpler than I'm making it here. There we go. Probably untangle the cord a little bit. The cord is quite annoying. But it's got a mind of its own sometimes. And just weave it through the coordinate spots like that. So that's what it looks like when it's when it's the cords in there. The pull cords popping up a little bit. But uh, if you guys can see that how it's weaved through there. Just grab the back part. Basically this just pops right on. Just like that. So basically that's the back together. So right here, I'm just going to grab the screw and just screw it back in. Don't want to do it too tight because you don't want to break anything on the inside. But uh, these little screws can be a bitch too if you lose them.
Oh yeah, screw those fuckers back in. There's no tricks here. I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna plug this thing in and play some badass fucking Mario Kart. Everybody likes Super Mario Kart. You don't like Mario Kart, you might as well just kill yourself. Alright, so later on I'll be, I, uh, I'm waiting to get this part in for my shooting here to take that apart. And I'm gonna paint them. I already bought the plastic paint to paint them, which you can see in a previous video. Down. Just one screw left, guys, and then we'll play some fucking badass Mario Kart. Alright, so let's screw down. Now, as you can tell, I'm picking up the controller. Here it is. Over here. There's the end of it. Now, more important part, I'm going to move this up, I'm going to put it this way so you can see it sitting behind it, and watch me plug it in. Uh, I'm going to cord here, probably leave these fucker things up, this could be a pain in the ass. Alright, turn on the TV, turn on Mario Kart. Alright, so you see the controller. And you can select, start, and all that crap. Press start, that works. I'm just going to show you the trigger buttons as I just quickly pick the, the Koopa Troopa. Just going to jump around, speed up, you know, stuff like that. Just to show that it works. So I'm jumping now. Uh, you guys can't really see that. I do apologize. Alright, so let me just turn here. Fucking missed me. Alright, you guys basically got the, the gist of it. That's it. That's how you put a controller together. Um, if, uh, I'm going to be taking the Super Nintendo apart shortly, so uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, I should be getting my part hopefully this week. Uh, if, uh, my friend Star Soldier 1 was able to come through for me. So uh, until next time, this is uh, Jason from United Station, formerly known as Nazi 316 And for you, no G-Type, you need a new controller, man. You want to bite into something, you bite into a fucking carrot, buddy. Alright, that's it. Take care.